Hey everyone, this is Paul Ice with Table Softy USA Dot Shop, and today we're going to be talking about practice drills and looking at ways that you can get a little bit better at uh, playing table soccer, video style. Okay, so let's get to it. So a couple of uh, simple drills here to improve your possession and work on that general control of the ball. So I noticed after teaching many, many people how to play this game and playing a lot of people who are new to the game, there's kind of a natural progression with how people play. Um, and what I noticed, first of all, of course, the great difficulty is actually hitting the ball. So we want to actually work on that. Secondly, what I notice is players do get better than they reliably hit the ball. They hit the ball in the center and maybe come up with one guy and try to score a goal. Okay. Then a progression from there may be, and it might be incidentally, it may just happen because they've got another player up. They'll come up with two figures or there'll be another player in an advanced position and start working with two. Working with three figures, though, I find is a key um, practice area that will really help your game. Um, you know, we've, if you've coached soccer at all, I know that I have an, uh, a number of players know quite a bit of soccer, but you don't need to know the game. It's really about creating angles. If you have three and you can create that triangle or a group of three moving forward, it is very, very hard to defend. Um, because uh, you know the defender has to choose multiple options and if you come with one figure a defensive figure to try to block you've usually if you space these figures out correctly you've got some options to retain possession or get an opening so first of all what I would do this is actually a great warm-up if you're uh, just starting a tournament or you just want to practice on your own obviously is taking your three figures and let's just work on advancing those figures. So this would be um, kind of stage number one and just practicing. Can we reliably hit the ball with three figures and advance it? Okay, so that would be step number one, doing that all around the field. Doesn't matter which figure you use, keep to your three flicks in a row and just work on that with those three. Try to keep a nice close control distance with the ball and your figures. And that would be kind of stage one of this practice drill. So working on that. All right, so we worked a little bit on your possession right there. So what's an extension on that? As you're getting better, maybe you're getting bored of that initial drill, um, would be can you rotate possession reliably amongst these three? So what's this doing is it's, it's going, this drill is going to force you to think about where you're playing that ball for the next figure you have to set up to hit the ball. So what I'm saying here is we've got these three figures and in this part of the drill or this extension of the drill, you only um, can use the figure one time and then you've got to use another figure and then rotate those figures and you've got to create the angles to do that. So if I'm starting with the ball right here, I'm going to use my first figure. I know now I have to play the ball here to involve this figure. And my next one in rotation is here. And then I'm here, et cetera, and I am rotating the ball. And that is a great technique for making sure you've got figures open later as you hopefully advance down the field. So that's extension number one, okay? So let's um, kind of extend that a little bit. Um, I've already talked about one of the initial challenges of this game is first of all, just hitting the ball. And what I find is that it tends to be in straight lines um, that people are coming forward when they initially start playing and as they're uh, getting a little bit better, that still continues for some time. Um, that is easy for the, uh, the defense to anticipate what is happening there as they see that kind of straight line approach. So you can use this three-figure drill to work on hitting the ball on the side and creating angles, maybe even advancing your figures. So what I mean by that, again, if I've got, let's just demonstrate that, if I've got three figures here, hitting the ball on the side is, is very, very difficult 
to defend against. And because it's harder for the defense to anticipate, it creates more opportunities. Again, keeping relatively close control, advancing these figures, having three is a key component, but just that little bit of cutting and advancing the ball while doing that, especially as you get further down the field and close to the shooting line is critical to you improving as a player. Final extension here on this very simple drill, okay, is again with your three figures, um, I often, um, when, again, teaching new players or players that are getting more experienced, they get to a stage where they get around the shooting line, not sure what to do, or they get easily blocked, they're thinking about it a lot. That happens even to experienced players, by the way. One thing that cannot be defended in this game, I don't care if you're the world champion, is using speed around the shooting line, okay? And a lot of people get confused when I talk about speed and it's hard to, uh, to defend. Using that down here may not be to your advantage because you could easily make a mistake. Now, I'm not saying don't do it, that might be your style of playing, but uh, leads you more to a possibility of mistakes and losing possession. Where you really want to try to use that is around the shooting line. So having three here, can we do some moving flicks with these figures? Okay, so you've got your three, and then can we hit the ball on the move? Didn't do much there with that second flick. But if we can do that, it is pretty much impossible for the defender to get back in position and to block you out. If they do, the bonus feature here is that they're very likely to commit a foul, as in they may hit the ball or your figure as you're advancing, and then you've got a shot likely from a free kick coming up for where you have a good opportunity to score. Around this area, practicing moving flicks in particular, and if you have that kind of tri uh, triangulation of the three figures, then hey, good chance of success. Okay, so good luck with that. Simple stuff I know. And any comments, put it in there. Like and subscribe and uh, let's keep playing. Thank you. And here comes Hurt. He's got some signal on the pitch. They think it's all over. It is now. It's four. Oh, goodness me. Oh, no. What's wrong with these guys? Oh, Manchester United. I get it. Okay.